Hey everyone, Chris Rokiki back again doing my second review for today. This time it's going to be on the Marvel Legends Big Time Spider-Man. Or as what Shotimus Prime calls, the Big Time Badass Spider-Man. And he's right, this figure is awesome. It's actually really impressive. I'm really, I really do like how this looks. And now before you ask, no, I did not own the original Big Time Spider-Man. Unfortunately, because like with what people have said, and even Sean has said, the paint job on that was was bad. But yeah, I'm just glad that Hasbro decided to release a new version of the Big Time Spider-Man and we get this guy. Though, at least on my figure, it's not perfect. I'm just gonna get to it right now. There is some, uh, it looks like paint chipping or the uh, plastic is kind of raised or something. I don't know, but it, I don't know why. Maybe it's just my copy or I don't know. But <clears throat> maybe it's just my figure. But it looks like the paint is either, either um, scuffed or if it's a. Uh, <clears throat> Or if it's just the, pl the way the plastic looks. But it doesn't, but still, it's not bad. Okay, it's kind of doesn't look right here. Maybe it's just a uh, mark that they did that was a mistake there when they were making this figure, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my figure. But anyway, but still, this figure is great. And let's just go for accessories first. As you can see here, it comes with two closed fists. It comes with two wall crawling displayed open hands, or mostly wall crawling hands, as well as two thwipping hands. And finally, the not so interesting webbing here, which, if you remember, it actually came with the uh, Amazing Spider Man 1 figure. Actually, the Amazing Spider-Man one figure came with two of these, but yeah, this is what the fig this figure comes with. Just this webbing here. It's a not a. It's pretty basic. It's not nothing too special about it. It's a soft plastic, but it's, for me, this thing is stuck in this type of pose, unfortunately. But uh, I don't know. And of course, to swap the hands is pretty easy. You just pull out the hand. You just pull out the hand and you replace it with the one you want. Like a swall like a uh, open palm hand. And put a flipping hand. But yeah. But uh, you can swap it with whatever hand you want. Now, obviously, this is based off the uh, Pizza Spider-Man mold. That's what people have been calling that Marvel Legends figure. Calling it the Pizza Spidey mold because it not only came with the alternate hands, but it also came with an alternate head with his mask raised up, as well as a pizza slice. I don't have that figure, unfortunately, because I actually wasn't really a fan of how, the, how it looked. And this is the mold it has, you know, the way the torso is. I'm just not really a fan of how long this torso is. It just doesn't look right. To, to me, it doesn't look right at all. But it's still, it's still not bad. It's not bad at all. It's impressive, but okay. Let me rephrase that. It's not bad. I just, I'm just not a fan of how long this looks. To me, it just doesn't look right. But anyway, guys, let's just, let's just go over to. Let's go read the articulation. Sorry for my stuttering. Um, some that's a problem I have. I stutter a bit sometimes. I apologize, but like I've said plenty of times before, the uh, these videos are not scripted, unfortunately. But yeah, these are unscripted reviews, unscripted videos, I should say. But anyway, possibility for this guy, his head can fully rotate. You can move up that far, you can move down that far. There's a little this type of move this type of motion. You can kinda of, he has the head tilt as well. His arms can fully rotate. 
They can swing out to the side about that far. There's a butterfly joint that can move back and allows the arm to move back and forth. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. If I could, there we go, double jointed elbows. And all the hands fully rotate and can move back and forth. He has an he has an ab crunch, but it's not really that great. I mean, he can barely move backward, back about that far, and he can move forward a bit for a bit more. But I wish he had more range in the ab crunch. It's mostly moving forward. It's mostly more range for moving backwards. Forward movement, it's okay, but yeah, the uh, I wish there was more range in the ab crunch. There's a waist swivel. And if you can hear that, there's a bit of a ratchet in there, which is cool. His legs can move up forward about that far. It can move back that far. Though it's kind of hindered by his butt. I mean, if you want, you can fully rotate like so. But, eh. He can spread his legs out that far, which I wish he had more range. But, oh well. I mean, it's Spider-Man. He's supposed to do these splits and whatnot, but, eh. What can you do? His his thighs can fully rotate. He could bend his a double jointed double jointed knees here. And his feet can move forward. He can move back. And he has an ankle pivot. Beautiful ankle pivot, I should say. So yeah. That's the figure. Not bad. I mean, again, it could be mine, but it's just, it looked like there was paint chipping or the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, it's the way the plastic is raised or something. I don't know, but not a bad figure. Not bad. You know, if it weren't for the, uh, the way the long abdomen is and how there was, if they would have shortened the abdomen and gave more range in the uh, torso for the ab crunch then it would have been great but it's still not bad of a figure and it's a huge improvement from Hasbro's previously released Marvel Legends Big Time Spider-Man or as what Shardimus Prime calls Big Time Letdown Spider-Man but anyway that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time